When the plugin is loaded in Standalone, we have the options button presented up here. This will be the audio MIDI settings for the standalone version of the plugin. These settings do not apply when loaded inside the dock. And then for the actual plugin settings, on this top bar, we have the tune control, which will control the pitch. <laughs> We can double click it to reset it and we can hold shift while turning the knob to get smaller increments. Same thing for the pan knob, this will control the left and right bounds. We have the volume slider, defaults to 100%, but at 400% we have plus 12 dB of gain. This volume slider is different than this volume slider. This one is expression, which is a subset of this, so it will only reach the maximum of this output. So if I reset this to 100%, this won't go any matter. But if I set this to 50%, and I set this to maximum, we go. Then in the settings page, we have the profile option. This is where we can log out or we can manage subscription. This will launch the browser and allow you to adjust your subscription settings. We can go to about to find the plugin version. This is very helpful if you're contacting support and need assistance. We can go to the community tab to find the link to our Discord server. In the content tab, we have the download location where our libraries are installed to. And in the errors tab, we will have any issues that appear here.